Good afternoon, Tennessee. This is John Simpson with Roof MD. I'm here in Dowelltown, Tennessee. I'm on an asphalt shingle roof, three tab. It's two layers over. So we've got one existing layer on a four and 12 slope. And then they laid another layer on top of this. The trouble with doing two layers on a roof is that the old sh shingles have nails protruding often and those are come through your new layer. This roof is only about three to four years old. We've got protruding nails, which is a problem going forward for this roof and could cause ongoing moisture intrusion issues. This was a quick overlay. They did not repair the wood like they should have. We have a leak here and it's still persisting. One, because there's rotten wood. Two, because the nails aren't holding and they're probably penetrating the underlayment. And three, these guys didn't care. So who knows the quality of the work that went on under there. But the wood is bad. It would be a lot softer if we were wet. We've been unusually dry in Tennessee right now. This one's not particularly tight. I don't like seeing that. I don't like seeing avenues for water to infiltrate the system. That pipe boot flashing should be redone as well. Right here, because they installed it so quick, the shingles were butted up too close and now they're bridging. Not good. And on a three tie asphalt shingle roof, your water intrusion is even greater because the previous layer <laughs> only extends up to right about here. So if you don't have a good overlay, you're gonna have moisture coming in through here. Lastly, they did replace most of the boots on the rear roof, but they just decided they weren't gonna deal with this guy. It's got an old pipe boot, it's crazed. They used mastic on the uh, sealant. Mastic does not flex and this <laughs> service mast is flexible. So it needs a flexible sealant, usually with a fabric reinforcement. Um, this will have to be demoed and removed and new flexible flashing installed properly. This has been John Simpson with Roof MD here in Dowell, Tennessee. 